What is up guys, Dylan Ryan here, bringing you another episode of Dylan's Adventure Craft. Hope you guys are having a mindtastic day. I'm having a great day myself. Guys, we had a great stream yesterday. If you didn't uh, see that stream, it is up on my Twitch. Go check it out. Um, but to just go ahead and let everyone know the stream schedule and the video schedule, just because I can forget myself too. So um, we will be putting out videos on Monday and Thursday for YouTube and we will be streaming on Tuesdays and Saturdays so don't forget to don't don't forget about those don't miss those it's gonna be awesome because we did start this project in a YouTube video and we worked on this house right here so go check that out that should be I think episode 30 um, and it is pretty awesome so if you haven't seen that episode go check that episode out um, we're going for a village that we are building on a mushroom island and in a stream we put grass over this whole place here and we did the YouTube video on this and then the stream yesterday we added in two more houses here so we've got two more random houses um, just different things that are going on here more places for the villagers to sleep to hang out um, there's also workstations here uh, we've got areas at the back for them to go down to. We got a little fishing dock here, which is awesome. Um, and it's just it's just a build that is super random. It doesn't really have any point to it. We extended the path here, um, but as you can see, it's just random. We also did this house over here. Um, this one has two doors in it. It's also got like a little spa area. They can come over here. They can chill out. They can get their food. They can get their drinks, which is what you guys need to do too. Get your food, get your drinks, come and hang out. <laughs> um, we got a place for them to hang like their coats and stuff. And then we got a bunch of beds over here. Um, brewing stand, um, furnaces, uh, got a grindstone there. And uh, we also put some flowers up there. We got a bamboo that is growing out of control. But you know what? I kind of like it. It's something different. It's something weird. And I think it looks awesome and goes with this area very well. It's also hanging over the water here, which is really cool. But uh, we're not going to be building a house or we're not really going to be doing much on this main island today either. What I want to do today is to, to make a, um, a farming island. All right, so this is an area that the villagers can go to to do farming. Um, we're going to have areas here for the cows so that the cows can just uh, hang around. Um, so I don't know if we want to put them in a fence or what we want to do with them just yet. But I want to turn this island into a farm. Um, now, the farm is not going to have any, like, symmetry to it. It's not going to be like, okay, the wheat's here, the carrots are here, the potatoes are there. We might do a little bit of something like that, but mostly it's just going to be pretty much the whole island um so that's what i want to start off with today um i do have a couple tools here that i need to get rid of not that one though get rid of those and i need this guy right here um and we can throw that stick in there but yeah so we want to make a farming island now i don't have any potatoes at the moment but i do have carrots i do have pumpkins and melons so we can take a few pumpkins and melons here and turn them into seeds um don't need that many we can do that and then the melons i don't know okay yeah we got to put these down and we got to break them and then we can turn those into the seeds that's right so now we can have some seeds and it looks like we've got plenty of every item here that we need so first off though before we do that we need to make a bridge over to this island now this is the fishing dock over here i don't really want to go off of the fishing dock i want to make it more like that one over there so i think that's what we're going to do we're going to come to this section here we're going to build a bridge that goes all the way across um and i think that's the first thing that we're going to do in this episode but uh before we get to that guys i just want to say thank you so much for all the support and the appreciation people coming out to the streams people uh watching the youtube videos leaving comments stuff like that don't forget to check me out on uh twitter also that way you can get in contact with me a little bit easier um but if you like this video don't forget hit to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe it don't take but a second it doesn't cost nothing come over to the streams it is completely free if you wanted to donate it is really appreciated but all i ask for in the stream is for people to come over chat have a good time hang out make friends get away from life grab some food grab some drinks hit a like on that stream because it's the only thing i really ask for if you want to follow that is also free and that is also awesome uh, but you do not have to donate or subscribe there if you choose to 
That is awesome. I really do greatly appreciate it, but you do not have to. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this episode. All right, here we are over at the section that we want to put in the bridge. I want to try to hit over there. Now, I think this is a three wide bridge, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. So we kind of want to stick with that. Now, it's probably going to be the same size, um, the same height and everything like that. But let's kind of figure out, let's see, let's go right here. So I think we came up two blocks here and we had the three block gap. So we'll do like that. And then we've got to put in these spruce woods, um, not the logs. I get those mixed up all the time, <laughs> all the time. So now I'm kind of just reference this a little bit because it's been a while since I've used this, but it looks like we need to put slabs, stairs, and then it should be at the right level. So Let's go ahead and put in some slabs and let's go ahead and get some stairs going too. So we'll put in some slabs here, just like that. And we're going to have to build something up here so that we can place down these stairs. We're going to go just like that. And then we can come down here and not have an ax uh, because I need an ax to break those. And just like that, there we go. All right, so now I put these every three blocks, I believe. Yes, so that is what we're going to do. Sorry if you heard my phone go off there. That is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. All right, so let's see. We got one, two, three there. So we need logs here. We need one, two, three, log there. One, two, three, log there. Is that right? Yeah kind of hard to see here in the water so this is two so we would have a log here and then one two three log here one two three log one two three log all right awesome counting with dylan it works <laughs> it works okay so now we just got to do the three spaces here so we'll have a log here and then we just need to bring this all the way down so i believe we'll have one right there yes yeah, so it's fairly fairly simple i'm gonna just go ahead and put in all of these logs i'm gonna bring them up to the correct height that we need because there's no use in you guys watch me place logs over and over All right, and we got all of our logs in. So the next step is going through here and getting rid of some of this and turning it into the strip bark because it doesn't make sense for these logs down here that have been in the water for, who knows, years, uh, decades, you know, it might even be months. But if you leave a log in a water for a certain amount of time, eventually that log is uh, going to lose its bark. So we want to do something just to kind of texturize it there a little bit, you know, that just makes the most sense. So now what we need to do is come back over here. We need to make sure, yes, the slabs are on the same level as the top of the stairs. So that's what we need to do. We need to come through here and we need to put our slabs right in the same uh, height block, I guess, um, as the stairs. Now we don't want to do it on the outside sections here. We only want to do it on the inside sections. Now we can come back through here and we can also texturize this up with some stairs, make it look like it has been wore down. And honestly, we could even put some dirt in here too, if we really wanted to. And that would also texturize it and make it look like they've tracked dirt up through here and stuff like that. Now I do want to eventually make this to where this has a wall going around the whole thing i haven't figured out exactly how i want to do that yet because we do have like the fishing dock over there um here it wouldn't be much of an issue because they like the the zombies and stuff that was zombies are not going to be able to get up here but we do want to try to figure something out just in case because we don't want to come back to a village and have nothing but zombie villagers i just that that's probably not going to be very good so let's go ahead and get rid of these um, we need to have slabs at this level here, right here. Looks like we do need to put a piece of dirt there, which could be very simple just by breaking one of those and putting it like that. And then we need to get rid of these three slabs here and replace them with stairs that we do not have. Okay, now we have stairs, so we can place them in the wrong direction. <laughs> I hate how that works. Um, okay, so let's just do this for now. And then we'll get down here. We'll grab these two just to make it a little bit easier here. 
There we go. Okay, so there is our um, our bridge, I guess. Um, so now we're going to take chains and we're going to run these just along here because we want it to be safe for these villagers. You know, we don't want them to fall off into the water. And I really don't want them to get in the water at all. So that's why I'm kind of like wanting to put some kind of barrier around these islands. I have an idea of what I want the walls to look like. It's just how I want to incorporate them around the builds that we've already done. Um, and we, we haven't even gotten... A tenth of the way done with this place yet this is going to be multi videos multi streams i'm not going to do this every um every video so like this will probably be the last video for a few until we come back and work on this again now if you do want to see more of this build come and show up at the streams hang out chat with me um i am a small streamer so i don't have many people showing up to the streams. so if you like to uh go to streams where the streamer is actually talking to his chat hanging out with his chat you know i'm not gonna be mean i'm i'm the same as i am in real life that i will be in the stream i'm i'm <laughs> i'm a nice guy I'm not, I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything but i am a nice guy and i like to to give people you know hope of people actually still being nice in this world so um do not be afraid to come and show up at the streams because we have a great time um but yeah so we're going to do something like that i think i'm just going to Bears those out throughout but that's pretty much it done there now all we have to do is come back in add in a few details um so how we're going to do that is we're going to make a few more of these logs here uh, and we're going to make some more stairs we're going to need more than that though that's for sure probably a stack or so that's probably good right there now we're just going to come through here and we're going to break up some of these slabs in different spots so it really doesn't matter where it is this is all random um, and if, if you're building something like this, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can make it look more modern. You can make it look like it had been just put up. You know, it's, it's all up to you. It's all about what you want to do. Do not, um, do not think that you have to copy me on this. And I don't even know if anyone is, you know, it's just, I'm just putting it out there just in case, just in case you want to. So, um, now what we've got to do is we've got to place in some slabs here so that we can place these, um, stairs off of them because if we don't do this then you're going to see exactly what happened and you're going to put the stair upside down which you don't want to do um but yeah so we'll do something like this then we can come in and we can place in some stairs and different random angles um we can do it however we want to it is all up to you guys and how you want to do it so let's place that like that i think we have one over here and then we've got one here um so I'm just doing this, you know, all different directions. It does not matter whatsoever. Um, I'm just trying to make this look as good as I can and to make it look, you know, broken up and stuff. So that right there will probably do be majority of it. Looks like we did miss one here, but that is a simple fix. Um, that looks correct. And yeah, so as you can see, this is all broken up besides the ones that I did miss. It's kind of hard to see down there. But yeah, it's kind of broken up now. I think it looks really good. So we can, like I said, put in some dirt, put in some uh, coarse dirt, stuff like that. If I can find it, I know we have dirt here. How do you make coarse dirt? I cannot remember. You can mix like gravel and regular dirt. Is that right? Yes, you can. Okay, so we can make some of that. So let's do that. Let's get rid of that. And let's make a little bit of coarse dirt too, um, just to make it look a little different here. So... Now we can just come in, we can break this, we can throw down a piece of coarse dirt, we can come over here. Maybe this is more, um, like there's more of it at the beginning and not so much in the middle, so we'll skip a little bit in the middle. Just because as they walk across this, they don't track as much onto it um, as they did. So we'll just throw in some coarse dirt, we'll throw in some dirt here, dirt here, coarse dirt here. Um, we get to the middle, it's not quite as bad, but we will throw in a couple other pieces here. So we'll do something like that. Coarse dirt, coarse dirt, regular dirt, regular dirt, and then another coarse dirt, just like that. Um, and that just kind of makes it look like, okay, they tracked, um, dirt up onto this, you know, and it just makes it look a little different. So I like that a lot. Now, if you don't like how it looks here on the outside, you can always put in, some um trap doors which honestly might be kind of a cool idea to do anyway 
um, and we can actually test that out. But I'm going to do that off screen because I don't want to waste all this video time just putting together a bridge when we've got some other stuff that we need to do too. So let me go ahead and do this really quick. We'll figure out how we want this to look and then we'll come back. We'll check it out, see how it looks, and then we'll go from there. There we go. Awesome. So I went ahead and put in the trap doors on the sides here. I think it actually really does help it. It makes it look good. As you can see, I got attacked. Um, that's why we need to make sure that we fix this place up. I also went ahead and put the braces underneath it too. And I also fixed this one over here. Um, it looks like I left some slabs on the ground there. So I'm going to grab those really quick. Um, but I did put... Okay, I only put them on this side for some reason. Okay, I was about to say, I thought I'd put them over there. Maybe not, but we got in the dirt and the coarse dirt on this side too. Um, and I will come back over here in a minute and finish putting those up. It looks like we need like 12 more or so, uh, nine more. So that is the bridge done. So we're good with that. We're not going to spend any more time on this bridge. If you guys think it needs something else, let me know. We will do it. But now what we need to work on, I think, is a... Um, let's do a, I'm trying to think here. Yeah, let's do a wall. Let's put a wall up around this thing. I think that's what I want to do. Now the wall is going to be made out of different stuff than we've built out the houses and out of the bridges here. We are going to use, we're going to use chiseled stone, polished andesite. We're going to use stone bricks. So I'm going to have to get some more stone because I don't have any stone. And we will also, I need to clean up my inventory a little bit. So I'll tell you what, let me get a bunch of this stuff out of my inventory. Um, and then I'm going to run back to the base and get some stone because we got plenty of stone in our bulk storage over there. And then we will come back and actually start putting this in and making it look how it should look. All right, there we go. So this is the type of design that I'm wanting to go for for the wall around the place over there is this all broken up i also went ahead and went and got a bunch of vines uh because i had zero vines actually so i've got that over there so we can farm up vines as we go because it's quite expensive to make these um mossy cobble and stuff so that is the design we're going for we've got a bunch of different items here that we can use so what we're going to do is just go ahead and head over here and we just want to start laying this out. Now, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be the same in every spot, but that is fine. So um, I've got a few different block types here that we will be using. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and try to get as many of these on the bar as we can. Um, and then we can come back in later on with uh, like the slabs and stuff. So um, the main thing that I'm wanting to use here is we're going to do uh, one, two three, four tall, just like that. And then, um, actually, I'm sorry, not four. We're going to do three tall, but it might be better to do four. But I like the three. I think the three looks good. So we'll do the three. And then we're going to have this wall come up two blocks all the way around. And we'll do it about every um, five blocks or so. And then we'll start placing in other blocks. So Right here, it does look kind of short, but that is fine because if you get on this side, it's going to be a lot taller and nothing's going to be able to get up there. So we've got one, two, three, four blocks. So we'll do like this. And then we're going to have another section come in that's going to be three tall like that. And not everywhere will it be just like that because if you come over here, um, actually it might be, yeah, it's pretty low here on the, the side. So, um... On this side, it'll be a little bit different. All right, yeah, so let's go Let's go three tall and then four tall in the main spots just to make it look a little bit better here. But we are just going to be going through and just doing just different block types here, um, making this look as cluttered and messy, I guess, as we possibly can. So one, two, three, four, five, so we would have one here. And it's going to be something like that. So it's just a really broken up wall, um, and it's just... You know, that's what we're going for, though. We're going for just a weird look here. We don't want it to be perfect. Um, but then we're going to come in with different types of slabs, which I will have to change out slabs because these are the only ones I have. We're going to do slabs on these top pieces here. 
Then we're going to come in with some kind of stairs. Obviously, we'll have to do the same thing. We'll have to mix up the stairs. And we'll do something like this there. We'll have one here like that. And then we're also going to have it come out. And we'll just use random blocks on the sides here. So we'll also have that there. And this will be just random block types like that. So it's kind of a bulky looking, um, I guess, fence slash gate slash whatever you want to call it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around this whole island, placing this in, just doing different various block types, um, hoping to make sure that I get as many different types as I can. Um, which is what I'm trying to do here. So it looks like we are missing we're missing something cobblestone. That's what we're missing. So I'm just going to go through these and put as many down as I can and go around this whole island using this type of design here. Check it out. There we go. So I had to make some adjustments to the land here because it got really close to the walls and the cows kept on going over them. So I did that. Put up all of the walls here. It looks really good. And I got all the cows back here in the cow corner. Um, so now what we're going to do is we've got to come through here and we've got to uh, start tilling some of this. But we're going to have to hide water in this also. Because if we don't, then it's just going to go back to regular farm or regular dirt. So what I'm going to do is go throughout this whole place here and I'm going to put in various water spots throughout. Um... Now, I think putting them actually on the land so you can see them is actually not a bad, a bad idea because I think it kind of makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to th go throughout this whole place, put down buckets of water in different holes, and then we're going to come through and till all of this and start planting some vegetation. So I believe everything has been done to this farmland. As you can see, I'm going to try to land over here and not trample some of it. There we go. So I put composters everywhere. So any farmers that come over here and want to be a farmer, they've got the workstation for it. We've got water underneath those and we've got light on um, some fences here just to light up the area. And also I put some slabs in certain areas. They're not in every place, like right there doesn't have one over there doesn't have one. They're going to end up landing on the soil and making it not tilled anymore, but that's fine. Most of all of it has been done. And I don't know if I can get down here and show you without tearing one up, but we can try. There we go. So if I land here and I do like this, it doesn't seem to affect it. Now it has happened to me one time, but I don't know if that's because I accidentally went onto the composter and then fell down, which is probably what happened, but I'm not sure. Under the slabs that look like this, there is actually water under here. So if I break this, you will see it is waterlogged and that will help to uh, make some of the soil fertile. Now there is a couple places that it's not fertile. Um, I Like right here, this one isn't, but it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, it's just a couple different spots here and there, but they have plenty of workspace. They have plenty of workstations um, and like there's another not untilled one. But everything's looking good over here. I think we've got everything in the way that we need it to. The cows are over there. So now we can just start placing in some of these items. So I'm going to just run down through here and just place them in like this. Not all of them are going to get filled up. But once we put villagers in here, they will come through here and they will fill them up. Um, and, and place, I guess, whichever item they have in their inventory. So we will have to give them items. Um, I am going to sparsely place some of these pumpkins and melon seeds throughout um i don't know if they will be able to place any more of those down or not if they don't then we can come in and do them ourselves but i did want to put some pumpkins and melon seeds in here 
just to kind of spice it up a little bit, put them in different areas. Um, but we will probably come in and put some more in ourselves. But we also have carrots that we can place down so we can put in a big row of carrots here in the center. And then we've got all of these other um, wheat seeds we can put in. We need some potatoes, so I'm going to leave some spaces open so that we can do some potatoes. But um, I, I just kind of want this to just go wherever. Like I really, it really does not matter what goes where. Um, I kind of just want it to be scattered all over the place. And that's what's going to make it look like a villager farm itself. So we're going to put in this last stack of carrots here. Once we put in this last stack of carrots, we're going to go back in with some wheat. And um, then I'm going to try to find some potatoes. And we can do some potatoes also. But um, I'm going to finish doing these carrots. We're going to do these um, wheat seeds really quick, and then I'm going to make some more of the melon and pumpkin seeds also. So let me put these in. Let me get some more melon and pumpkin seeds, and we'll also get some potatoes. We'll throw those throughout, and I'll probably do probably all together a stack of pumpkin, a stack of melon, uh, three or four stacks of carrots three or four stacks of potatoes and the rest is mostly going to be wheat so let me do that really quick once i get that done we'll come back we'll check it out i'll hang out for a little bit to let some of it grow up we'll see how it looks and then we'll probably wrap it up from there There we go. I, th I think that I got everything in, actually. Um, okay, I ran out of rockets, so let me grab some rockets really quick. Um, but I was thinking, I forgot to do beetroots. So we've got carrots, we've got beetroots, we've got wheat, we've got pumpkins, melons, and we've got potatoes all going on in that farm area over there. So that is absolutely fantastic. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. That is so sweet. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got all kinds of stuff going on over here. This is actually really awesome. Um, I'm really, really proud of this. I'm sure there's probably one or two, maybe half a dozen missed spots in here. And then some of the pumpkins and melons will shoot some of the other stuff off. But it looks like we already got beetroots growing. We've got some uh, melons and pumpkins growing. I saw some over on the other side. We've got wheat going. We got some carrots. I just saw some carrots. Um, yeah, there's a melon. Actually, I haven't seen a pumpkin yet. But we've gotten all kinds of stuff growing. And I really do like how it looks like not one thing it's not just wheat it's it's everything everything's in there and that's absolutely awesome i love it so much this project is coming together so well so awesome um i'm just i'm having a great time with it i really do hope you guys like this type of project too we probably won't be working on this next episode we'll probably come over here and look at it but we probably won't be working on it next episode. We'll probably find something else. But if you are coming to the stream, we will most likely be in this area working on something, if not that, which that's pretty much done, actually. Um, we'll be putting up more houses or we'll be doing like a market or something else also. So that could be really cool, too. So do not miss that. Make sure that you come out for the streams. Make sure you check out the YouTube videos and you also check out my Twitter so that you can see some stuff that other people don't see also. Um, but I'm loving this project. This is a big project that I've taken on. But so far, I like it. Usually, if I don't like a project, I won't work on it for a while. Um, like, well, I was going to say the the Nether Hub, but I do like the Nether Hub. We just haven't worked on it in a while, so... We will get back to work on that pretty soon, I'm sure, but we also got a lot of stuff going on over at the base that needs to get done. Our base is just so massive, it's just going to take episode after episode to finish building that thing. Um, I do have ideas, though, and I do know how I want it to work, how I want it to look, and stuff like that. So once we get all of the items that we need, that's mostly why we've been building farms and stuff also. Um, once we get all the items we need, then we can actually start working on that over there. I need to AFK. Wow, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of vines over here. I was hoping I'd get all these vines done before I ended the episode, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. But um, yeah, so if you like this project, just leave a like. 
comment if you want to see something else in this area if you've got a good idea if you even if you've got a minecraft and you want to build something and send it to me on twitter and then i can uh, look at it and maybe we can even put it over here and give you a shout out whatever it might be but um i think that's pretty much going to do it for this episode we did get a good bit done we got the whole farming district over here done which is absolutely awesome um and i'm i'm, I'm so happy i'm so excited and proud it's just looking great we still got another island over here. We might have to branch off of this to get to that. We will see what happens. But uh, I think that's pretty much going to do it, guys. Um, this is looking awesome. And it looks like we might have missed some spots over there. So I'll fill those in. But it's looking great, guys. It really is. And I appreciate all the support. And uh, I appreciate. let's get this in the background here. We got to get this in the background. <laughs> might be the thumbnail right here. It's pretty, pretty awesome. I got to take that thing over there down though yeah definitely gotta take that down but it's looking great i really do appreciate all the support uh don't don't forget to come and check out the streams we'll be streaming tuesday um the next after this video goes up but that's pretty much going to do it guys i really do hope you enjoyed if you did please just hit that like button subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell so you get notified when i put out another video that's going to do it guys and i hope to see you in the next episode this has been dylan ryan and i am out